This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Man, I wish Eve would quit bugging me. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volnar right back here with another episode of Parasite Eve. In the last episode, we dealt with the sewers and got the goo out of the water system. We don't know where the goo went, but uh, we know it's gone. But anyway, yeah, I forgot this chest last episode, so. And I double checked my notes just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And as far as I'm aware of, I haven't missed anything, so. But uh, anyway, let me drop these clear Ds. Unless we go back into the. Um, sewers again to fight the bats uh as far as i'm aware of the rest of the main storyline i actually don't need um darkness stuff so i can i can just dump this stuff so uh, let's go ahead and sort that and then do i have any bp left or have i used it oh, okay okay i'm good to go oh right and reload so huh. we gotta deal with this rock and beat here <laughs> it's a what the that was a weird sound for jumping under the rail, but all right. All right. Yeah, we're, we're going through the sub New York subway system. Oh, boy. Hold on your butts. What are we going to encounter in here? What the? It's a creature. What creature? A mole. Yes. Um, okay. So, let's, uh, ah. Let me, uh, actually, let me go and get haste on. Don't need haste, but, hey. Let's, uh, see. Whoop. Let's get some blast on there. Ooh, yeah. Oh, dang it, I got too close. You're basically supposed to blast them and then run away, and uh, yeah, I got hit. Oh, well. Shouldn't have shouldn't even gotten hit in the first place, but oh, well. Um, I'm just trying to think what I want to use. I think I'll I think I'll think just use a medicine for now. But uh, yeah, we're going to start getting hit a bit, get smacked a bit more in here, so... Anyway, here we get another miss of three. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the game knew I was gonna get hit. But uh, it knows me too well. But anyway, what the? Another creature? What creature now? For boss time against the centipede. Uh, okay, so we want to stay. Oh right, I didn't want to get paced on. Okay, this guy can poison us, and he also does well. Um, he also, well, he'll do something else here. We want to try to stay to his side so he doesn't do that to us. If we can help it. And then here pretty soon he'll, let, well, yeah, he can also shoot the lightning from his, from his, I don't know if I'd call it tail, but uh, uh, what is he doing? What the? Ah, oh, he split him into two. Uh-oh, that's not good. Um, okay, so what he does is he's going to, he's going to move around five times. Whoop. Okay. Two, three, four. Oh, crap. Dang it. Ah, oh, man, I messed up. Ah, oh, no, I messed up. Dang it. Um, you're supposed to be able to, like, if you destroy one of these guys, you could probably get to the side and uh, not take that damage. But unfortunately, I like chose every single bad option uh, when fighting him. So, yeah. Oh, well. Man, I need a heal here pretty soon. Man, I am not doing... When I play tested this, I did a lot better. But as soon as I record... As soon as I record, it, 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 it becomes terrible, so... Eh, yeah, let's use nine. Yeah, it took too many hits. I guess one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we just want to back off there. And yeah, we'll smack one of them, so... <coughs> um, yeah, let's get a... Oh! Whew. Uh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I should not have taken all that damage. I am so, I'm so annoyed at myself for that. Anyway, we beat him. We get a level up. Oh, nice. We get quite a few bonus points and uh, some. Ooh, we got a nice little bit of everything. So, all right, we get a new. Uh, let me take a look at that. Um, <clears throat> and then resets back to the original thing here. So, okay. So we got critical evade. So let's put that on our protector, and then we get the we got a new uh, grenade launcher. Let's take a look at that. We get the um, M79-3, which has the uh, frost ability on it, which is actually a pretty good ability uh, because, well, at least at this point in the game, because there's nothing, I don't remember the stuff that's weak against it, but nothing's immune to it. Because in this game, if you fight something that's immune to something, it'll do no damage. It won't like resist the damage and you do like a little bit, it'll just do no damage. Uh, so this is actually a good, at least till the end of the game, this is actually a pretty good item to, uh, um, Put on your main weapon if you're if you're doing that. So let me go ahead and reload, take that out, and then we're. I do. I have some tools left, or did I? 
I have a super tool, but not a regular tool. Hopefully we'll find a, a tool around here pretty soon. Because I want to, um, I want to, uh, swap that out. Wait, am I going the right direction? No. Well, I mean, I can go that way eventually, but not right now. I think I want to go forward, north, or up, I mean. See, I think... Actually, no, it's around here. Wasn't there a... Hmm. I thought there was a... Uh, maybe it's in here. Because <coughs> I know you can go into one of the carts. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's here, yeah. Okay. So we get a tool. Nice. We also get a... Bee protector. Uh, that one has anti stiffness. I'm not going to put it on now, but that's not a bad. That wouldn't be a bad item to put on. Put on one of your uh, items, especially if you're going to do. Uh, if you're going to make a super armor at some point, you know. Uh, okay. So since, since we got a tool, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, tune up the um, the uh, M79 too, and I'm going to put the ice ability on it. So yeah, it does have some bonus stuff, but I prefer the frost effect uh, basically it's there for to do a bit more damage so yeah there we go ah yes first strike three hit burst attack and ice uh, we're gonna we're gonna make people freeze huh. chill out cool party bro or however many bad like ice puns that you can say from um, uh, Batman and Robin god that movie's terrible um, but it's terrible and it's a it's so bad you know, but uh, although I'm one of the people that doesn't really like that movie particularly, but sorry, we're not, we're here to play uh, we're here to play Parasite Eve, not uh, not you know talk about uh, um, bad movies or whatever. Oh, uh oh, there's a dead man here, or a dead officer, I mean. And then we get the gate key for our efforts. Hmm. The slime's going towards. Let me guess. Uh, Statue of Liberty. The museum. Oh, oh, that's a different movie then. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that's not good. All right, let's go back. But what's happening at the museum? We gotta head there now. And we gotta change discs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of funny when you think about it. Uh, that you have to swap out the discs at this point so okay i'm gonna swap out the discs really quick um i have to actually get up and do that so i'm gonna cut to when i do that so give me just a second all right there we go just took me a second but uh yeah got to yeah it's it's weird how in, like in most games if you have to change a disc usually a major scene occurred or a cut scene or something like that occurred or a cut scene's about to occur so you it activates the memory to swap the disc out or whatever. Nope. Just, uh... Just, uh... We swap out the discs. Okay. <laughs> That's it, so... Is there anything... Oh, is this just take us to the same spot? For some reason, I thought both areas took us to different air points or whatever. I guess not. Okay. Cool. For some reason, I thought that uh, you could find two different directions. Now, I think... I might have to go back and I might have to double check something because I think I missed I feel like I missed something like a like a dropped item or something like that like a uh, um, before we go forward maybe I grabbed it already I could swear there's an area where it has like a there was like a glowy disc thing like when I was play testing I could swore let me go back in this one thing really quick just to make sure I, I hit it or not like it wasn't in this train car I don't think so but maybe I'm misremembering from a previous episode or something like that so okay if I, if I do miss something I'll I'll put it in the video like at the end or something like that so because yeah I could swear I uh, there was something else I'm missing <clears throat> that might be in another. Might, maybe maybe that's later on in the episode or something like that. Yeah, trying to remember everything I'm, I'm gonna do. In some games, it's easier than others. I mean, it's not that it's hard. It's just you know, a lot of things on my mind. I got, I got money on my mind. I got Aya on my mind and Eve on my mind. For an encounter here against. Oh, I guess there are a few more bats left. I'm sorry. I guess where we uh, uh, we didn't have to fight bats here. So anyway, let me show off the power of ice. Yeah, look at that. And it does a little bit more damage, too, so there you go. 
Yeah, he got away. Oh, oh, he missed me. Okay, cool. Okay, let's uh, hopefully. Okay. Oh yeah, look at all that damage we did him too. I need to go cure these. <coughs> I need to drop. I need to drop those because I actually don't need those. Or at least I don't need most of those, so I'm just gonna. Whoops! I don't want to discard that. No, sir, rebop. Uh, now let's discard the cure piece too. Okay. Yeah, I need to. I need to drop off a lot of stuff after we're done with this place. Yeah, they just. And it didn't help with Meta uh, putting stuff in our inventory. You jerk. I know he's just trying to be. I know he has the hots for Ada or Aya and uh, wants to impress her by giving her good luck charms, but uh, you know. It's annoying from a gameplay standpoint, so. All right, well, let's uh, use that gate key we got from that officer up here. <clears throat> and get out of the suit, and it, <clears throat> get out of the, yeah, the subway system section is pretty short. Like, it's just boom, boom, and that's it, so. Although it did have a mini boss in it, so. All right, yeah, we're out, and all we have to do now is go to the sewer, so. Before we do that, though, let's go to, let's go to the NYPD and drop off with a bunch of stuff with Wayne, because, uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff, so. I might have to also um, clear out Wayne's inventory a little bit just to... I still need to figure out what I want to use. Because I do need to use some of the tools and drop off some weapons. I keep forgetting off screen to go go through my old weapons and see which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to just break down for the for the points. Oh yeah, I had the I had those bonus points from that boss, didn't I? Let's go ahead and uh, um, add that. 32, not bad. I think um, I'm a little behind on my... Um, uh, how many, like how many, like how high my, um, uh, my attack power of my weapon usually is at this point. Oh, well. And we do have a couple of junk pieces to drop off, too, so. Oh, did I pick up that ammo from before? Eh, why not? <clears throat> it, uh, re resets every, every day anyway, so. And medicine, yeah. You get one of, I don't know about the medicine, that might random, that might be based off, like, where you are in the game. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Actually, hold on. How much junk do we have? So we have three. Unfortunately, I've actually I, I need to go back through my videos and uh, count how much junk I've dropped off. I think I've dropped off like twenty or something like that. All right, let's uh, um, store items. Yeah, I, I really just need to get rid of a lot of these. Uh, well, let's store. Let's get rid of this thing. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a few tools. I really do need to. Uh, Oh, can I not drop that yet? I could have swore you could drop that by this point. Maybe I'm... Hmm, I guess not. Hmm, I could have swore you could. Maybe I'm misremembering. Um, yeah, let's drop off a few Cure 3s. Um, I want to leave at least a... That might be good, just in case. All right. Oh, yeah, and uh, let's, let's move the Super Tool for now. Um... I think the reg I'm trying to think of. I want to keep a tool, a regular tool, on my, on me right now. And then equipment. Uh, let's see. Let's drop. Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> let's drop the. Wait, didn't I? Oh right, that one. That one's a. I was trying to think. I was like, I could have swore I got rid of like some of these weapons from before, but I guess not. All right. Yeah, let's just drop all the stuff I'm not using currently. So yeah, let's drop off um, that and that and that and that club two and the B protector and okay. Oops, not tune up. All right, we're good to go for now. So kept a heal, a couple of heal items just in case. Something happened, but uh, now we want to head towards the museum. But before we head towards the museum, we actually want to get, um, we want to finish out a place we were starting earlier, but now that we've have a, a bit more um, weapon damage and everything with that, I think we can now tackle uh, tackle this uh, side area. I think it's like one of the only, other than the post game stuff, I think it's like one of the few side areas of the game outside of being required to go there. I kind of wish this game had a bit more side quest stuff, but I kind of understand why there isn't, because from a story standpoint, um, we're going to go back to the warehouse, by the way. Um, from a story standpoint, it makes sense that we're not running around like, trying. we're trying to find the plot because we've only got, well, I guess Aya doesn't know she only has so many days, but you would think with Eve being a threat to the, a major populace, 
that we would try to rush as best as we can through it so we're not trying to dilly dally yeah here we are dilly dallying but uh don't tell anyone anyway this is the place that had the, like the pbk and the chemical uh vest and everything like that for those who who have forgotten between episodes or whatever so yeah very very spooky atmospheric for being just a warehouse you know wonder what's gonna go what's gonna happen here what the what what in, what lives inside this warehouse that the guy says oh that's just a small little rat oh that's just fine oh ow! that thing's huge for an encounter against the rat okay let's uh let's just blast this guy uh -oh. fire fire and brimstone nice yeah we just wrecked that guy but he's not the big he's not the biggest threat in this place I'll tell you what I'll tell I tell you what Bobby Okay, thank yeah. Okay, I was about to say I knew there's a sparkly somewhere. Sparkly time. Uh, warehouse key. That'll help us get further into the warehouse. So I don't even think there's a lot of encounters here, if I recall too. I think there's just like a, a couple. Let's see. I thought there was like a chest around here. Yeah. Okay. Wait. No, it's not. Oh, maybe it's the next area. That looks like a chest to me. Like, <laughs> but it's just like one of the. It's just a background box or whatever. So. All right, let's go inside. Let us see what is inside the warehouse. Ooh. Nothing. No. <laughs> more encounters. All right, what do we got here? Oh, more rats and spiders. An, an upgrade to the spider. Oh, whoa. Woo. All right, nice. We got lucky there. All right. Got to mess with that spider. Yeah, we're just, just wrecking these guys. Okay. Oh, he, he jumped back, so he, I did less damage to him. Ah, come on. Should have been dead by now. Alright, try it again. There we go. Yeah, more, more ammo. These guys drop a lot of good ammo. But we shouldn't run out of ammo for the rest of the game, really. Um, oh, I think I used quite a I was about to say, I think I used quite a bit of ammo here, so... Now where are we going? What is in here? Ooh. There we go. There's a chest. And we get the SP protector. Not bad on stats, but uh, I'm keeping the one I have. It's really not necessary to break it down either, just because there's not there was there's any many bonus points. But anyway, we can finally get uh, well, we get to a new type of ammo type, the rocket type for rocket launchers. But we don't have any rocket launchers. And the fact I'm actually surprised the fact the game has more than one ammo type for the game. You know. Uh, and there's a safe spot there, which might be a good idea, depending on what happens. Although I do have that auto heal from if I get really bad, but, you know, usually don't want that to happen. But maybe we get an offense plus two here. I don't remember what else can drop here. Um, but, uh, oh, yeah, and I think if I remember correctly, uh, now that I mention it, the sub in the subway train, uh, one of the boxes that had a tool in it, I, I rem if I remember correctly, it is possible to get a super tool maybe. But I wasn't, I didn't want to mess with like redoing the, um, redoing it so many times to try and get that to pop, you know. Alright, let's just try to get these guys before they start hitting me with uh, their webs, if I can do that. Alright, nice. Um, crap. Ah. I was hoping, I was hoping I could just run through the thing, but nah. Oh well. Oh, wow. Alright. Yeah, I shouldn't have got, even gotten hit by him either, so yeah, it took quite a bit of damage. Ooh, boy. Alright. Just trying to decide if I want to use a heal. Let's see, what much does haste cost? Haste doesn't cost that much. Man, well, we do have the medicines, so. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and do a heal light, too. That'll be fine. Yeah, these guys. Uh, this is why you want to go to the warehouse later, just because of how much of a how much damage they pack every time they punch me. I'm like, ow! What the? What's that noise? Sounds like someone's hissing at me. Yeah, we get a defense plus three. Nice. I don't remember what else can drop here. Um, I think range can also drop here, but I could be wrong. 
But anyway, there's a chest over here. Got another defense. Wow. Maybe the game no. Maybe the game realizes I'm taking a lot of damage. Like uh, so, it's like you know you're having trouble dodging. Here's a couple of defenses. I'm like, thank you. All right, let's get the uh, tool here. All right. Now let's find out. Let's find out what's making that noise. What is making that noise? Oh, we gotta climb down. The uh, slowly, uh, slow moving climbing. I mean, it's realistic, but gives us a chance to appreciate the view, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. As we go down. Alright. Well, it's getting louder. What is down here, anyway? What the? What is it? It's a battle? Crab battle. Crab battle. Oh, yeah, better. Better. Hastier. I might want to do barrier, too, if I, if I can get a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucked. All right. Yeah, that's... Did you see how much damage that thing did to me? Like 222 damage? Holy crap. Yeah, this guy's like a... Kind of a mini super boss, really. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, we kind of want to stay to the side of him for the most part. Oh. And, uh... I want to aim for... I want to aim for the eyes. Oh. Yeah. Because... Because of the burst, I want to make sure to try and hit that that hand there so okay we got one of his hands all right ow all right ow um uh, it's mine uh oh yeah uh, yeah okay good didn't want to oh it's that haste again <clears throat> yeah that's probably the most after after you get rid of one of his one of his hands it kind of it becomes a little bit easier because then I won't be taking like little bits of damage from him from him when I get too close. So. Yeah, not too bad. Like I said, he does do all that damage to us, so that's probably the most um, harrowing part of this whole whole um, thing. There we go. <laughs> right before he started doing the laser eyes, the laser. Anyway, we get a new uh, weapon here, which I'll show that off here in a second. Um, actually, I think when I was talking about a previous episode, I said there was a grenade launcher I used up till Eve. I think this might have been the weapon, actually. The uh, um, the AT4, or no, no, this is the rocket launcher. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. But uh, but yeah, this is the rocket launcher. Look at all that damage and range and attack, but it only has one bullet at a time. So the reason why you want to go here is... I don't know how often I'll use the rock. Actually, use the rockets. I might show it once in battle just to show you. But yeah, we only get so many rockets in the game, and and the reason you might want to do it is because of how much damage it does. So not quite double, but something to think about. But it might be more effective just because of how slow it is, just to keep with your weapon. But that's up to you. There's nothing to think about. Um, no, I was, I was misremembering. So it was a grenade launcher. For some reason, I was thinking maybe I was using the rocket launcher, but I was like, no, that only has so much ammo. So. Oh yeah, we finally find out what the what that uh, uh, noise is. It's this little uh, I don't know what you say steam thing, or okay, let's hurry up because I think if you get caught in there, you actually do take some damage. Okay, cool. And we yeah, we get a tool for that too, so we got a bunch of tools. So I don't think there's anything else in here. I think it was just that crab battle, crab battle, crab battle. Oof. Anyway, let's uh, climb back up and get out of here. Really not much to it. We basically, yeah, this area is pretty short for the most part. But it is dangerous because of that crab battle. Really the reason you come here is for the rocket launcher. Uh, for those who want to use it. I think, I'm trying to remember if I ever actually, I think I did use it in my main playthrough. But I don't know how much I used it. Like I said, when I first played this game, I, for whatever reason, did not really utilize, like, weapon modding tool and everything. I don't know why. I never figured that out. Maybe... Maybe I just thought, like, like I said in the previous episode, maybe I thought it was like Resident Evil where I didn't have to do too much to beat the game. Because it didn't seem that hard. So I wasn't even trying. But I don't know. This is a guy from a guy who's played RPGs his whole life uh, for the most part. And you're probably wondering, like, how would you make a mistake like that? It's like, I could not tell you. That happened with a few games where I didn't figure out the game mechanics properly. And so I had a tough time at the very end for whatever reason. I'm trying to remember. This one was one of the, one of the games. Oh, again, another battle. Um, trying to think, there was, I know there's a couple other games like that where I had trouble figuring out the, like, just the, the battle concepts and everything like that. Um, 
and spit that goo. All right. No. Ah, we'll just take all this guy. Because, yeah, with Burst, you do have to, despite the range of the weapon, you still generally have to point it in a direction. It's like a cone-like formation type. Um, ow. Dang it. I keep getting hit, like, stupidly, you know? So you talking about being, me being bad at, like, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and heal. Did I end up using... No. I was thinking, I was wondering if I used a medicine... Like auto healed because I took all that damage from the guy, but no, I only got hit once by the, the beam. So, and I have a revive if ever comes down to it. But I don't know. I'm almost strongly considering like dumping the, uh, the revive because then again we've gotten some close situations. I'm always one of those that's just always wary that I'm gonna just mess up at some point, even during a recording. During a recording, you want to make sure most people want to make sure they're playing perfectly, but. I don't know, I don't mind dying or messing up on screen. Sometimes it's more entertaining than having a perfect run, but... So that's why people would, would, will watch people play angry playthroughs of games, because they like people getting frustrated or whatever, so... But what awaits us in the museum? Will it be a night to never forget? Find out next time in the next episode of Parasite Eve. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.